Hi, good evening. I'm Dominique Ben. Thanks so much for joining us for KSLA News 12 Weekend at 10. The shopping frenzy happened at the Walmarts in Mansfield and in Spring Hill. KSLA News 12's Victoria Shirley explains what happened and shows you the chaos that was all caught on tape. Walmart shoppers in two Arklatex towns looking to do some grocery shopping on Sunday found bare shelves and empty food bins. It's about everything is gone. I've never seen uh, in, in, in that condition. Shopper Anthony Fuller says the big box store in Mansfield looked like someone raided it. He's not far off. Ivy buggies are gone. Hundreds packed both the Mansfield and Spring Hill Walmart Saturday night. Once word spread, they were accepting electronic benefit transfers or EBT cards with no limits. <laughs> Police were called in to control the crowds. Spring Hill Police Chief Will Lind says people piled their cars full of food for two hours. But when balances started showing up on cards again, people rushed out, abandoning their carts and leaving behind a huge mess. One man captured the aftermath with cell phone video. <laughs> oh, when we walked through the door, it was like a tornado had came through. O.J. Evans and a friend were there to buy a T-shirt, but when they saw dozens of full and abandoned carts, he only thought one thing. I was just thinking Facebook and Instagram. The shield's empty. While he can be heard laughing in the video, <laughs> Evans says he felt bad for the employees that would have to restock the food. I was just thinking, oh my God, I'm so glad my mom doesn't work here anymore. Evans believes it was natural human reaction that led people to fill up their carts during the glitch. But couple Stan and Judy Garcia feel very differently. That's plain theft. That's stealing. That's all I got to say about it. We asked Walmart spokesperson Kayla Whaling if the company would be taking the loss on any food purchased on the carts not showing balances. Whaling would only say that they monitor transactions during the outage. Victoria Shirley, KSLA News 12. Now that Walmart spokesperson tells us they know their customers were counting on them during the outages and made the decision to continue accepting the EBT cards so that they could get food for their families. A spokesperson for the Louisiana Department of Children and Family Services tells KSLA News 12 they take all allegations of potential fraud seriously. They are aware of the problems and they will be investigating. 